but also my presence here signs uh, a new departure for uh, football in Indonesia. And this is what I can guarantee to the President, what I can guarantee to all the people of Indonesia. FIFA is here with you. FIFA is here to stay. FIFA is here to work in a very close partnership with the government, with the Asian Football Confederation, with the Federation of Indonesia to transform football, to reform football, because football has to be joy and happiness. So our... Hari ini saya bertemu dengan Presiden FIFA, Mr. Gianni Infantino, dan tadi kami telah melakukan pembahasan penting mengenai sepak bola Indonesia pasca tragedi di Malang 1 Oktober 2022. Kami berdiskusi secara detail dan dalam pertemuan itu Presiden FIFA mengungkapkan rasa duka dan simpati mendalam kepada keluarga korban dan menyampaikan kepedulannya atas tragedi yang terjadi. Kami bersepakat bahwa tragedi ini menjadi pelajaran yang sangat penting bagi persepakbolaan Indonesia dan juga bagi dunia sepak bola. Dan jangan sampai kejadian ini terulang kembali, jangan sampai kegembiraan penonton pertandingan sepak bola berujung pada duka dan malapetaka. Dan kami bersepakat untuk melakukan transformasi sepak bola Indonesia secara menyeluruh, memastikan semua aspek pertandingan berjalan sesuai dengan standar keamanan yang ditetapkan oleh FIFA, baik pemain maupun penonton harus terjamin keamanan dan keselamatannya. Untuk itu kita sepakat mengkaji kembali kelayakan stadion dan juga menerapkan teknologi untuk membantu mitigasi aneka potensi yang membahayakan penonton maupun pemain. Pemerintah bersama FIFA juga bersepakat untuk memastikan pertandingan Piala Dunia U20 FIFA di Indonesia dapat berjalan dengan baik. Semua segi persiapan sampai dengan pelaksanaannya harus dipastikan berjalan sesuai dengan standar FIFA dan ditangani secara baik, secara profesional. Kami juga secara bersama-sama mengkaji ulang para pemangku kepentingan persepak bulan Indonesia. Pemerintah bersama dengan FIFA ingin memastikan proses transformasi sepak bola Indonesia berjalan sesuai dengan standar yang ditetapkan. Dengan demikian, mari kita jadikan kesepakatan ini sebagai momentum perbaikan sistem persepak bulan Indonesia agar sepak bola Indonesia menjadi kebanggaan nasional dan tampil lebih baik lagi di masa yang akan datang. Saya kira itu yang ingin saya sampaikan. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President, ladies, gentlemen. Um, well, uh, today I had the great honor and privilege to meet with the President uh, of Indonesia. And of course, the first topic, the first item of uh, our discussion, of our meeting was for me to express to the President, to express uh, to uh, the families of uh, those who lost their lives in the terrible incident of Malang, our deepest sympathy and condolences from FIFA, but from the entire world. This is uh, a tragedy which has uh, put us all in a state of uh, shock. It was uh, and is one of the darkest days for uh, football. And we feel uh, with President Jokowi, we feel uh, with the families, we feel with the people. And uh, my presence here in Indonesia today is uh, paying respect uh, to all these people. But also, my presence here signs uh, a new departure 
for uh, football in Indonesia. And this is what I can guarantee to the President, what I can guarantee to all the people of Indonesia. FIFA is here with you. FIFA is here to stay. FIFA is here to work in a very close partnership with the government, with the Asian Football Confederation, with the Federation of Indonesia to transform football, to reform football, because football has to be joy and happiness. So our first priority when we come here, when we work from our FIFA offices in Indonesia, will have to be to indeed reform and transform uh, football in this country. This is a football country. This is a country where football is a, a passion for uh, over 150 million people. I would even say uh, almost 300 million people, President, they love football. And uh, we owe it to them that when they go to see a match, they are safe and secure. And we will do that. We'll do that because uh, we agreed to work together as a team, uh, as a winning team. We will focus, of course, on uh, uh, the operations of the stadiums, on the stadiums themselves, on uh, the fans, the fan behavior, the fan engagement, on the schools with a project of Football for Schools that we are going to uh, put in place together with uh, the government, on the infrastructure that uh, needs uh, as well to be looked into because part of uh, incidents that can happen is linked, of course, with the state of the infrastructure. So we will bring our experts, uh, we will help and invest, and we will uh, make sure that uh, Indonesia shines in the global football stage. And the first occasion to do that, and that's why I wanted as well to come to, uh, here to Jakarta, dear President, um, ladies and gentlemen, is that next year we organize here together the under-20 FIFA World Cup. This is, uh, uh, in men's football, the most important competition after the, after the World Cup. The next World Cup will start in one month in, in, in Qatar. But after that, we have the under-20, in which the best players of the world will come to Indonesia, and uh, their light and their talent will shine from Indonesia to the entire world. So to do this, we need 10 state-of-the-art stadiums. We need uh, uh, operations that run smoothly, seamlessly, because we'll project the image of what Indonesia is to the world. And the image of what Indonesia is to the world is not uh, uh, a country which has uh, accidents in football stadiums. It is a country which has a vision, which is projected into the future, which has a young population that loves football, which wants to celebrate and bring football to the world. Because football means, of course, joy and happiness. And the World Cup uh, that we organize next year together will be the, a unique occasion to promote Indonesia for the future. And starting from there, starting actually from now until then, and from the World Cup into the future, we will make sure that um, Indonesia is not only hosting a meeting like uh, the G20 being part of the top countries in the world from an economic point of view, but also from a football point of view, the epicenter of football in this part of the world will be definitely here in Indonesia. And from here, we'll make the game grow to the entire world. I would like to thank uh, the president uh, for his uh, trust, for his engagement. Uh, I would like to thank all the people of um, Indonesia for their passion and their love to football and assure all of you, dear President, that uh, we are here to stay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.